Kelly Te whanau. Uh, some of you uh, will know that about four weeks ago uh, we set out to start up our own business. Uh, there's been an opportunity um, that has presented itself uh, to apply for a scholarship through Te Whare Hukahuka for the Kahau i Te Ao um, program that supports Indigenous businesses. And part of that um, application process, uh, there's a series of challenges uh, to complete um, as part of that process. And the first one um, challenge was eye gazing. Um, and so today I um, have been in a series of business um, meetings. And so I um, endeavoured to um, set out on this challenge of eye gazing uh, during uh, those business meetings. And obviously we're in lockdown, so um, those um, meetings were um, online. Um, and um, I also um, had a go at uh, practicing the eye gazing with my husband. Um, and, you know, he was, um, it was quite funny because he was like, oh, I'm just going to steer you out. Um, so he, um, it was uh, really interesting, I think, um, because I noticed that often uh, we are having a lot of conversation and talking and, you know, passing conversations. Um, and it's really interesting when you actually stop and pause um, just how um, engaged you can be in a conversation with someone, especially when you're making eye contact. Um, my husband and I also talked about the fact that um, that our cat, so he does this um, eye gazing thing with us and um, I can't remember, I think it was maybe the, the cat daddy, um, we watched some of his stuff on YouTube, um, the cat daddy says that if um, you keep staring at the cat and see um, who stops staring first um, and often uh, for a cat um, they look at you as a sign of love um, and care for you. Um, so I was practicing eye gazing with our cat today as well and I'm sure that some of you will crack up if you know who our cat is. Um, so I think one of the things um, that I learned today um, from this particular challenge is the importance of being engaged um, with the person um, when you're in the moment. Um, I think um, I was a little bit like hesitant thinking, oh gosh, you know, this is going to be interesting. Um, and, you know, I had a little bit of anxiousness. Um, and then I was kind of like, oh, just feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, and I think um, the other thing that I have learnt is, um, you know, being in business is exciting but scary at the same time. Um, you know, I'm normally a person that um, is in the background doing all the mahi behind the scenes. Um, so um, this you know, going into businesses uh, requiring me to uh, put myself out there and step out of my comfort zone. Um, and, you know, in the past I've um, had experiences of um, having to put myself out there when I really don't want to and it's really uncomfortable. Um, and I've always felt better for it afterwards. Um, but I think it's just that initial um, fear or anxiety of... Um, I don't know, maybe doing something wrong or I'm not getting it right. Um, yeah, so I, um, yeah, I'm, I did it. I did day one, the, the first challenge, eye gazing. So um, yeah, learned lots of things. And I think, yeah, just my big take home uh, from this challenge would be um, the importance of really being engaged in conversation with people. Um, so yeah, kia ora and ngā mahi.
Well, my dear, I hope everyone is uh, staying safe out there. Kia ora.